Now this video is to look at some of the links between um, different uh, neuromuscular followers and that's just a buzzword that a lot of these dentists use. Uh, they're using this uh, uh, device to uh, supposedly give them a, a give patients a, a perfect bite in the treatment of uh, headaches or uh, full on three construction or cosmetics or whatever. So here we go with uh, from uh, this company that is actually selling the device. They they have uh, a number of uh, courses listed on their website. If you go to myotronics.com, you'll find all the courses. So if we scroll down, you'll find um, courses in the U.S. Different uh, lectures. Here's a here's a a dentist that has uh, been associated with uh, a book that I wrote. Um, he was trying to help an, a dentist that was in a lawsuit. Um, we can go through, uh, there's a big conference coming up in Calgary, Alberta, and it's coming up September 2020. Then there's courses all over the world, uh, France, and uh, they're trying to mix uh, neuromuscular dentistry with orthodontics and um, if, the, the, if the actual approach is questionable then to spin it into mixing it with other things like orthodontics and full mouth reconstruction and implants for example uh, to, to me and to a lot of people would be a concern. If we click on this website let's see what it has to say. talking about the upcoming conference. I guess there's more of them. 2021, 2023. So they definitely want to spread their approach across the world. I'm not sure how well it's working. But uh, we can go back um, and go to the top of this site. We'll go to uh, International sales. Now, what is this about here? So, if we want to buy one of these gizmos that uh, they use to uh, to do this approach, I guess if you go to Canada, you'll find um, a listing for uh, a well-known lab that has been promoting uh, training for this approach for probably 20 years now. Um, you can go through different countries have assorted contacts and um, we go to the home page for myotronics again they're showing their courses and they've got uh, new devices and uh, Health Canada was asked um, if they are responsible for uh, determining whether it's safe for dentists to use and they said actually the the dental authorities are supposed to be dealing with this and again in Ontario and Manitoba they've banned the neuromuscular approach so uh, everyone using this approach in uh, those provinces are at risk. If we go to um, lviglobal.com uh, you can go to Canada and if you want to look up, you can look up the, the province that your uh, dentist might be uh, in. And we can look at Alberta, for example, since that is a, used to be a hot spot. And there's a map we can blow up. And there's a few dentists here and there that are still following that, or at least listed on their website. I don't know if they're still using the approach or not, but we can zoom in up in Grand Prairie. We have a dentist. We've got a uh, number of them in Edmonton. And again, you can click on these and find out wh who they are. And down to Calgary, another little collection. Used to be somebody down in Lethbridge, but I think they're gone now. I think they're starting to drop off the map. And medicine hat. So let's just as an example go up to Grand Prairie and click on this link. You can find the, the doctor's name. 
there and uh, let's just shrink this down again let's see there it is um, so let's go through these names here's uh, this dentist we don't need mean to pick on him too much but he he does have his courses listed and that's uh, uh, apparently a violation of Alberta Dental Association and college rules that are not being applied. Uh, it says he's an ortho trainer. I don't think he's an orthodontist, but he's listed as an ortho trainer. So that would be another um, potential violation. And again, uh, the Alberta Dental Associated Association and college goes uh, worldwide and they look for uh, your, your listings on different websites. So this one has, for some reason, been avoided. If we click on his website, let's bring that up. And we can see that we're obviously in the heat of this coronavirus problem. Um, we can go to services and drop down to uh, physiologic dentistry. So that's a new buzzword that they're starting to use. And uh, so instead of neuromuscular dentistry, uh, since that's been kind of blackballed by the Ontario uh, Dental College and Manitoba, uh, they're starting to use the term physiological dentistry. Same idea, they use a TENS unit, they explain. And just trying to uh, say that if you relax the muscles to a certain point, then they think they have a way to um, determine uh, a bite position that magically helps everybody. So they're, they're attempting to use uh, the, the treatment for clenchers, people with facial pain, neck pain, posture problems, ear pain, hearing loss, locked jaw, and uh, problems opening wide. And uh, you can scroll through and, and it says here as a disclaimer that physiological dentistry is a practice philosophy and not a recognized specialty. So um, that, that little disclaimer may, may have come from perhaps a, a dental authority that's looked into it and uh, just a little light tap on the wrist, for, for example. But uh, this is just another example of, uh, you know, where the advertising rules are supposed to be in place to deal with uh, misleading advertising. And if this approach is, is not uh, meeting the standard of care, according to the Ontario and Manitoba College, and it's starting to uh, seem like the Alberta Dental Association College is uh, starting to post uh, TMJ approaches that are acceptable and hinting that these weekend courses are not going to uh, to be appropriate. So there's just, you know, um, a little uh, stepping forward towards uh, addressing this issue and it's not to, to say that uh, some uh, TENS units uh, and treatment might not help a little bit but the push towards uh, using an orthotic and then moving towards a full mouth of crowns on healthy teeth and usually bypassing uh, much more conservative choices uh, that, that is to me the, the issue of overtreatment and the opinion of many legal experts that are, have uh, seen these cases in the US. So it's uh, maybe time for Alberta to uh, to look at the advertising rules and why did they exclude neuromuscular and now physiologic dentistry from their little list of bad words and uh, they've wasted hundreds of thousands of dollars on policing other things but this seems to be something that they haven't wanted to touch. It's time.